Hello and welcome to today's video. This time we're taking a look through another box of vintage pan major paperbacks, get them cleaned up as good as possible, ready to go back into the collection. So sit back, relax, and let's take a look. Okay then, so we'll start off with this one, which is uh, Scandal's Child. Now I believe these ones are from the mid 1960s. Yep, 1965, and straight away, it's got a little 20p on the inside. So let's uh, get that out with my rubber. So, as I record this, it's a very, very wet and windy day. We actually had a little sprinkling of snow yesterday. This is in, uh, in March, which is almost unheard of in the UK. Uh, very unseasonal weather. We've had hailstorms, we've had rain, we've had storms. It's just lightning, thunder and lightning. It's been mad. So you may, you may hear a little bit of uh, rain in the background, but maybe not too much, hopefully. Now I'm just going to put a smidgen of glue just on that little corner there. So hopefully it won't be too bad, but if it gets really, really bad, I may have to knock it on the head for today and carry on tomorrow because, you know, I'm out here in the studio, which is in the garden. So that one has had it, which is in the garden. And quite often it sounds, it actually does sound worse here rather than on film. Um, there we are. So if it gets really bad, I'll stop. Else we shall soldier on with Scandal's Child, there we are. So, these are the M series, so they're, cool, look at that. they're much, much thicker than regular pound books, and this is, that's not too, too great, that. Now, that's one which, look at it, it's already had, some of the cover has been ripped away, so really, that is gonna need some, like, lighter fluid on it, really to lift that sticker off, and I haven't got any of that. And I'm not a massive fan of it, to be honest. I don't really use it, but there's so much there. If I was to sort of spend time scraping that off, I just think it's gonna make more of a mess of it. So I'd rather just pop it on my uh, upgrade list, M M94 Alan Burgess, the lovely sergeant. The death of Achilles, Victor Price. M96. So again, this isn't in exactly the greatest of shape, but it's borderline. Look at that, a pound BB. One pound BB. So as I film this, it's on a, what day is it? Thursday. And uh, I was at the London Paperback Show last week, last Sunday which was amazing. I picked up a couple of pans, not loads, but I got some. I got some Agatha Christie's that I've already got, but I'm going to clean them up and compare them with my own copies. And um, I'm going to gift a few to my sister because she's a real Agatha Christie fan. Um, and she particularly likes Evil Under the Sun, and there is an edition of that in there, which I don't think I've given her yet. So um, I try and look out editions of that particular one for her, and I've Pretty sure I know what she's got. I am still on the lookout for the uh, movie tie-in edition of Evil Under the Sun. If a really nice copy of that. Turned over the corner as well. Dear, oh dear. Very much a second-hand copy of that, but other than that, it's not not too bad. The Bedford Incident, Mark Raskovich. It's a film tie-in. Richard Widmark as Captain Finlander. Ah, oh, okay. He was a funny one. Yeah. Got a very faint price in these. have all got, I think this had a little 25p in, but it's quite faint. Didn't quite all come out. Yeah, 
Yes, yeah, so my best pan find, it was only a two pound paperback. It was a, the Reluctant Legionnaire. Now it's, it wasn't in the greatest of shape, but um, last year from Morris at Zardos, I got a cover, like mock-up cover by Taylor, the artist Taylor. And he was the one who did the cover to the Reluctant Legionnaire. So I had the original cover art. I had a, a cut-off cover, but I didn't actually have the book. So um, I was able to track the original book down. I've been after one for ages. I've had a save search on eBay for six months and one still hasn't turned up. So I was really, really pleased to get that one. Um, this is pretty nice nick by the look of it on the face of it. You find with the classics that they generally are in nice condition because no one reads them. Basically, <laughs> this was an M100. Not too bad. Not too bad. Royal Escape. Georgette Hare. That's in pen, unfortunately. Not pencil. Hastings, January 1968. Oh, look, and they've ticked off a few there. It says a Georgia hair fan. I mean, on the face of it, though, it's not a bad copy, in all honesty. So I'm not going to put it on the upgrade list. Who was then? The gentleman, Charles E. Israel. Hmm. Now, I've been planning out the next next few weeks of videos on the channel. And uh, I have been very much listening to the comments about the new picture quality and the new sound. At the moment, people prefer the new sound. I know a lot of people tune in to like drop off to sleep to these videos um, and they prefer the old sound, but this is much clearer. And um, oh yeah, this one's actually signed by the author, Alexander Cordell. There he is. Very nice. Um, and the overriding opinion is people prefer the new sound and the new picture rather than the old ones. So for the time being, I'm going to stick to uh, stick to the new sound. And it's decided to rain very heavy. So I'm just going to pause there. No, we're OK. We're OK. It's gone again. <laughs> Right, what's this? Like a dust shadow or something in there. Yeah, my post lady arrived this morning. She had a, a parcel for my wife. And uh, just as we opened the door, it, it, there was a really big thunderclap. She going, oh. <laughs> She said, oh, I'm worried. I said, just be careful. It soon passed. Little book bookseller's sticker in there. And I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because although it's partly coming off, it's quite nice that one. So I just just leave that one there for the silent people. Walter McKean. Let's move them around. Well, this is a, a famous one, isn't it? The spy came in from the cold, John Le Carre. This is the movie tie-in. Richard Burton, Claire Bloom, and Oscar Werner. Wow. I suppose you could say it's one of Le, Le Carre's most famous ones, wouldn't you? What was it? Was... Yeah, now this is a reprint. So it is a reprint, this one, but it's the movie tie-in reprint. So I'll bear that in mind. Oh, Colin Wilson. Well, we're like him. Man without a shadow. It's one of his I haven't read. I have read some Colin Wilson. And I did actually do a signing with him uh, back in the 90s, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that's not too bad. Now, this next one, The Vampire. This is quite a collectible one. Um, it's tough to find in nice condition. So mine is far from perfect but it's probably as good as I'm likely to find without paying, you know, £25 
or more for a really, really tip top one. But I'm more than happy with that. That's actually better than I thought it was, in all honesty. Not too bad, a little bit of wear on the bottom of the spine, but yeah, the vamp are quite a scarce little pan, that one. So this is Spectrum 3, the anthology edited by Kingsley Amos, and uh, we saw Spectrum 2 last time. Quite nice, these. Kingsley Amos had more than a passing interest in science fiction. He really, really enjoyed it. Kingfisher's Catchpole. Oh my God. Yes, with this, all this horrible weather, I'm really, really craving some, uh, some sunshine, I've got to say. The Rocks Remain, Gavin Maxwell. They've reused that um, otter there, haven't they? From Ring of Bright Water, which was a massive seller for him. Never read any Gavin Maxwell. I heard he's, he was good in his day, but I've never read any recently, you know. Green Light. Lloyd C. Douglas. I check the year on these, see where we're looking at. It's 1966 now, so we've moved on a year. I don't know if that little X there is uh, in pen or pencil. Oh, it's in pen. Darn it. Darn it. Problem that, not a bad copy. The Scorching Wind, Walter McKean. Big gust of wind there, just uh, blew against the side of the studio. Chances are you're not going to hear it, but if you see the books blow away, you'll know why. <laughs> That's not quite that bad, but it's not good today. This is The Schoolroom. Nicholas Montserrat. This is a second print, but probably the first printing has an M. So uh, I assume this is correct. M130. Split scene, Frederick McCauley. This seems quite, quite a sharp copy. Bit of a blob on the back there. Yeah, that's reasonably nice. That blob on the back, it's like a bit of fat or something that's dropped on it. It's gone right the way through, which is a shame because that's a tip-top copy, that one. Much uh, better than most. Photograph. Oh, sorry. Photography. Look at that. It's a non-fiction one. Um got some rubbing on there like some sticker removal mark that will that should come off with some polish with a bit of luck this is a book on photography okay tiny little bit of the bottom of the spines coming off there which is not good so and it's double layered. So just get, get a tiny bit in the um, corner here. So do the first layer. Very, very fiddly. Hope I can do this. Trying to capture it on film, guys, it's just tricky. Huh. Still not on film, but there we are. That's the first bit. Now I need to get another smidgen in there. Oh, there we are. It's actually kept it in place now, so we'll let that dry off, but seems to be okay. Yeah, it's better than losing it, that's what I say there. Right. Royal Flush, Margaret Irwin. 
these are typical of the Pan M series. They are lots of uh, what I would call historical romances, you know. Um, slip those over there. Let's do another pile. But they're also big, big, thick, thick books, you know. Another one by Margaret Irwin. There's a sticker removal mark there. And it's left um, a, a spot where it was. This is five shillings, this one was. It's a huge book. 450 pages. Something on the inside there. Don't know what, but we uh, we got it. Something that dropped in the first page there. How very dare they? The gay galliards. Look at this. three three Margaret Irwins on the drop. All sort of historical titles, probably all published at the same time. Quite nice copies. In fact, that's one three four, one th sorry one three three, one three four, and one three six. There was probably a one three five, which was a, a Margaret Erin as well. The Pan Jack London. This looks on the face of it all right. Much much harder to get these big thick books in nice condition, of course. But he's okay. Yay, yay, yay. Angus McGill. A bit of an unusual uh, cover there. Still 1966, so these are only spanning two years at the moment. Poor Gallico. Too many ghosts. M144. Nice. Catherine, one love is enough. Juliet Benzoni. Oh dear, look at that. Bit of doodling in the front, but nothing too untoward, so I shall let it slide because it's absolutely fine apart from apart from that little bit of pen. Georgia Hair, Cotillion. There's something on the inside there, but difficult to scrape it because of where it is. Nothing too serious, I don't think. I think that was a bit of cigarette ash, I think. And it got stuck in there. And it's quite a good book, this. I've uh, read this one. It's Winston Churchill's first journey. Very much his early life. This was the... Um, was this the, the tie-in? No, it's just... just it, it is, it's, it, it's her early life. Is where this is taken from. And what a life he had. Um... Anvil of Victory, Kane, Anvil of Victory, Alexander McKee. War Time well, I haven't seen one of them for a while. Big old book. That's all right, we've got one more here. Loyalty is my honour. Owen Butler. Another non fiction war title. Very dusty and dirty edges there, which will do wonders when we get the old brush on it. And there's some vintage pen here, so it looks like 13.5p. There was a 2 and 6 and something unreadable, possibly a 10p. So we'll get all of that out, because it's all in pencil, which is quite handy. Hmm, 
There we are. Lovely. Yeah, that just that's actually not a bad copy. It just needs the treatment on all sides, so we shall do that in a moment. Right, last little pile here. So we've got Trafalgar M164. This is the British Battle series. Okay. Red for danger. LTC Rolt. Yeah, it was still 1966. So all these books have only encompassed over two years. The Other Kingdom, Victor Price. Which is a bit of a surprise, really. I thought they would have gone over a little bit more. I'm a Frank Howe. Sing for your supper. Little one pound fifty inside. <sighs> Another Georgia hair, the toll gate, M one seventy seven. Man on a horse, that's a nice cover, isn't it? Howard Clues, like that, with the reflection in his glasses. Cleverly done, and on the back. Cleverly done, Mr. Pan. Ah, 1967, so we have gone on another year, right as we get to the end. We've just dipped into 67. Frederick Manning, her private's we. John Brain, the jealous god. A little mucky, but I think that'll come up okay with a clean. Josephine Tay, the privateer. Nice. I never promise you a rose garden. Okay. Hannah Green. I don't know if that's anything to do with the song. Who knows? Answers below. Ah, Lance Horner. Santiago Blood. I remember my gran reading these sorts of novels of the Deep South Plantations. This is a reprint, but I'll keep it because Lance Horner, believe it or not, is collectible. And the last one, before we get brushing, is the Virgin Soldiers. This is a bit of a, a classic. This is, yeah, Leslie Thomas, this is a, one of his classic ones, isn't it? Very, very tanned edges here, but it'll do, 1967. So there we are, so that's all the books, and we've gone through and we've, uh, Sorted all the internals. Now we need to give them all a brush. Let's do that now. Right, time to get brushing. So four little stacks to do. And then we shall give them all a polish as well. Thankfully, in touching a little bit of wood here, I'm hoping that the bad weather is blown over and that you didn't really hear much of it at the start of the video. 
it's just the time of year and I don't want to get behind and this is sort of the only chance I've got to uh, get this video filmed this afternoon, so needs must. This is the bit I do not really enjoy. I know we need to do it because the books are dusty and that, but in this little sort of enclosed environment, if the books are really bad, they're not too bad, these, but if they were really bad, it's just not very nice, but it is sadly part of the job. So these books, you know, they're all 60 years old, aren't they? Almost. And they would never, ever have been brushed or cleaned in their lives until today. So... Someone's got to do it. So it's the first half done. I'm going to clean the lens now. Okay. I have to give the lens a clean because I do this right in front of the camera, of course, and uh, the dust can settle on the glass of the lens. So. Do a couple of stacks, then give them a clean, and then I'll give it another clean before we, uh, before we get polishing with Mr. Sheen. ones.
nice little bunch. There we are. Right. I shall uh, get out the Mr. Sheen and get portion. Right, on to the final stage, which is the portion. And I tell you what, this Mr. Sheen seems a little low. And I think I've got one left in the house. But I shall uh, need to get some fresh. Find a cleanish bit of cloth here. Go running out of Mr. Sheen, that would be literally an emergency, wouldn't it? It would be an emergency situation. Now, the weather seems to be uh, picking up again, but I suppose we're almost done here, aren't we? That's this last little bit to do. Get some uh, lighter fluid on that bit, I think. Maybe give it a go with that. But for the time being, it's just going to be on my wants list to upgrade. Just a filler copy for the lovely sergeant. We'll give him the lovely sergeant. The, uh, the old duster really impregnated with Mr. Sheen, which it will do over a few squirts. So next week, it's the turn of another bagging video, I do believe. Um, and I think, although the last bagging video I did on my main channel was my penguin, penguin catalogues and what have you, the next one is actually going to be vintage albatross paperbacks on here. And I'm going to split the collection that I've got into two wedges. So I do half on here and... Uh, the second half will come down the line and I'm going to do the rest of the penguin memorabilia which I also had to split into two parts I'll do part two of that on my main channel again but uh, that's got some good bagging to do I've also picked up at the London show I picked up some nice plastic sleeves and um, I'm going to dig out my London Underground tube map collection 
I kid you not. <laughs> um, I've got some fairly old ones. I mean, not mega old, but I think I've got some back as far as the 1950s. And I've got lots of the recent ones. And um, I found a folder which is absolutely perfect to hold the collection in. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, you can sort of fit three on a page, as it were, you know. There we are. So that is stack number one. Okay, second stack. I had this Colin Wilson actually. Yeah, it is a bit, a bit the worst for wear, but I won't get rid of it because although he was prolific, I have read quite a bit of him and he's really good actually. Is that a copy of the vampire? my card there but it will fade away there's no quite a difference to that one that's good yeah so I've got at the moment a five week rotation going on this channel so we've got a pan video and we've got a bagging video of some sort. Then we've got Vintage Pelican. Then we've got Vintage Penguin. And well, we have been doing hardbacks, but I think we've actually done all the hardbacks now. We're actually up to date, which is pretty good. Now, what I did think of doing, I do a monthly pickups video. But in the pickups video, I do also show books that have been sent to me, stuff that I'm reviewing as well. And um, I did do this once a little while back, and it went down really well on this channel. It was all my latest pickups being fully cleaned. A bit like this, but it was a real mishmash of publishers and stuff that I've recently picked up. So what I'm thinking of doing, I am going to be... My next pickups video for pickups in March, because of the paperback show and visiting Dorset Pop, I've got an extra big amount of books to be cleaned. So I'm going to do quite an epic video on the main channel. It's probably going to be two hours long where I do all my March pickups, but I'll do a slightly condensed version with all the, uh, 
with all the actual cleaning. And I'm going to release that on this channel. I just edited it down. So uh, I think I'll slip that in as well. Because I know on this channel we're mainly interested in the cleaning rather than looking at new books and what have you, you know. Just won't go. Don't know what it was. I think if I keep scratching, it's going to leave a mark. So best not. Oh, yeah, here's that photography book. Now I was hoping. And that will come up a little bit cleaner than that. That's where it's particularly bad, where I've just sprayed. So we'll let that go for a minute while I give this one a clean. That's uh, sunk in a little bit. Yeah, some very, very stubborn glue, but it's not too bad. It's better than it was. Right, so that was stack number two. So we're halfway through. We are almost at the end now, so I'm afraid to say. It seems like it's been ages since I've done any cleaning, but it wasn't really. But let's get us stack number three. Okay, some more big, big thick books to clean.
panning on the edges here on this one. I thought it was smoke damage from cigarettes, but it's not. It's uh, sunning. Equally as bad for your books. So as it stands now, I've got loads of stuff that's been filmed. I have to be uh, chained to the computer to get it all edited down. So uh, I've been, I've got stuff going back even a couple of weeks that I've not had chance because other things have taken priority that have, um, that I just let, literally sat there waiting to be uh, edited down. So I need to get a wiggle on really, don't I? This, yeah, as you know, I try and put one up once every Saturday, and uh, I like to be a couple of weeks ahead on all my videos, you know, time allowing, but March has been such a busy month this year. April is looking positively quiet in comparison, which is not, not a bad thing. bad. Polish hasn't really helped it that much unfortunately. A little bit maybe but I bet that's a good book. Anyway that's the third pile. Right on to the last pile now. So, as I said, the hardbacks, I think we are actually done. We've done them all, which is good. That's the first sort of part of my collection, which has been completely finished, to the best of my knowledge. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. They've all been gone through. You know, I think they have been, which is great. But that still leaves an awful lot of paperbacks, so... 
pound penguin wise or well, pound wise so these here i reckon we've probably got an, enough for another three or four videos maybe a little bit more before we run out of vintage pound books pelican i'd say we've probably got about another who knows i don't know a lot penguin absolutely stacks and uh, all the little penguin offshoot series so unbelievably or rather predictably towards the end of the uh, cleaning book sessions it's just going to be penguin books um i'd like to give my uh, star trek books the once over because they're a little bit in disarray and also my vintage doctor who books possibly although i think i have done those haven't i so actually they're okay so I don't need to do those, but I think I need to do some of the Star Trek series, possibly. So who knows? There's still stuff to come. And of course, all of it ultimately needs uh, bagging up and protecting. So I'm going to have to do that. I won't be doing it with the hardbacks per se, but I will be bagging up my uh, paperbacks. So uh, those videos are always good fun. So I probably have got enough to be getting on with, I suppose. <laughs> but you know how it is. It just feels like I'm running out of books, and I'm really not. There's always new stuff around the corner. But the fact that the channel is... I think it, the channel's over two years old now we've been doing this. Yeah, it would be. So we're over two years we've been cleaning books. That's how long it's taken by doing a box a week, and we're still not finished. I reckon you know, we could be looking at almost three years before the whole lot's done. Which you have to say is pretty crazy. But also very worthwhile. <laughs> John Rain's jacket on this one. This was what he was famous for. I'm thinking, I'm guessing it's a John Rain's. Don't think it's Hans Helwig. So as we bring this video to a close, hope you've enjoyed it. I know the pan ones are pretty popular. People love looking at the old pans, as do I. Absolutely love them. So we've got a bagging video planned for next week but if you've enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed smash the subscribe button it costs nothing but it lets youtube know that you've liked the content and that would be very very good for the channel they uh dish it out to more people and i will be back next week without fail with another video there we are bye